This production facility in Plattsburgh helps clean up water in more than 350 cities across the United States and Canada. APG Neuros is a technology leader in wastewater treatment devices, and its units are assembled at the plant employing 17 people in Plattsburgh. Our technology is such that no other competitors have that, um, so we are considered first in our class. It's exciting to be part of this new technology that is really needed almost everywhere. APG Neuros makes turbo blowers, fan motors that stir up and clean up dirty water. Our main uh, customer is a water treatment facility. And what they use it for is to basically aerate the sludge field to help the bacteria grow. Turbo blowers are used in wastewater treatment plants to add oxygen to the water to um, help the chemical process to break down the sludge and to basically clean the water so it's um, safe to use and put back out into the environment. Using technology from the aerospace and defense industries, turbo blowers are more energy efficient than traditional blowers. Plant manager Josh Price says many municipalities are replacing their less efficient devices with higher tech units from APG Neuros. The more efficiency blowers allows the municipalities to use less power, less energy, which then costs actually the taxpayers less money. The older technology is large, ours is small. The older technology is noisy, ours is not as loud and uh, intrusive, and the cost savings is pretty extraordinary. The units not only help clean up the environment, they're more environmentally friendly than traditional blowers. So there's no grease, there's no oil, so that's why it's at a low cost for maintenance, because there's only a filter that needs to be changed. To get a blower ready for a customer, its enclosure is manufactured in Laval, Quebec. It arrives in Plattsburgh on a truck. And the enclosure is basically the shell of the blower. It's where all the electrical equipment and the turbo blower itself will be installed later on. Employee Sharon Jarvis receives the enclosure. So when the trucks come up to the, the dock, I unload them and then um, sign the paperwork, make sure everything's good, the material's good, not damaged. And then I do I take all the paperwork off it and do all the receiving in the computer so we know the inventory is right and what contracts the material goes to. It goes through a paperwork trail, it gets entered in the system and inspected at that point. Next, the wiring for the unit is prepared. The, uh, the cable assemblies will be uh, built. Uh, these cable assemblies include the large power cables and the smaller electrical cables, which would then be later on installed into the blower. After this, the, 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 the kits for the wiring and the kits for the panels are brought down and installed into the enclosure along with additional electrical components um, with the core being put in last to finalize the assembly of the blower. The frame lines up with the holes on the bottom and line up with the bellows up on top. Then we're going to put a gasket in, drop bolts down and tighten it. After the core is installed, the unit is ready for testing. We're testing the units for the health of the unit. Test technician Anthony Germano will test each blower for four hours. He ensures the equipment meets all the customer's specifications and that it operates correctly. We know what the blower should do and we copy what it does. So we, we, we bounce back and forth what we're expecting and what we get. After the testing, the unit undergoes a final check from the quality department. It'll go through and make sure that the, the prints that we've used and all the other specs from the customer are all correct and he verifies that we built the unit correctly. Finally, the blower moves to the packaging department. It's packaged up, it's heat shrunk, it's similar to a boat wrap. It's used to uh, prevent scratches to the unit during shipping and it also protects the blower from high humidity during storage. Logistics manager Gary Cedarstrom has been with APG Neuro since 2009, when it opened its facility in Plattsburgh. Customers can rely on our product, um, pure and simple. Um, we install them, we uh, warranty them, we're there for the customer from start to finish and beyond. With the head office in Montreal, he calls Plattsburgh an ideal location in the United States for the facility, just an hour's drive south. 
I believe our, our president knew that Plattsburgh was a, a growing community for manufacturing. So he, the workforce was here ready, willing, and able. We have a small group of people that work here, so we've become very close um, professionally and personally. Some people knew each other prior to working here. It's almost a requirement that we, we help out in other areas. So that, that's, a, I think, a plus for us. So um, if we are um, ha having people out sick or out on vacation, we have people that can fill in and do f pretty much what they uh, were asked to do. You're always experiencing new things. You get to try different things. And you always have uh, challenges that you'll get every day. So it, it's a very challenging job, which is what I like the most. I have to move a lot of material around to put stuff on shelves. So I drive the forklifts. Um, there, we have three different kinds that I can drive. Oh, I like driving big machinery, so it's fun. Anybody will help somebody out. If they need help, they'll drop what they're doing, come assist, and then go back to their task. So it's informal, decent pay, good location, um, all those things rolled into one. I've been a part of growing a, a good workforce here that likes to work together and get something accomplished. You know, if we come across the problem, We'll fix it. <laughs>